Hello, Facebook. It's Thursday. It's no, it's not. Shall we start again? Let's start again, RJ. I do apologize for that. I'm going to Hello, take that down off the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll come back to the two of us. This is <laughs> oh, with there's something we've got to do. Bringing with Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, we're not going to sing old Lang Syne, but we wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year wherever you are around the globe. And if you're interested in messenger bots, then you are in the right place. And I'm not sure whether Ros is watching us, uh, but she did say that if she woke up in the middle of the night uh, in Australia, she would actually join us today. And uh, so we might see Ros. We do have a guest with us today. Uh, Andrew Spears has joined us. He's in the lobby waiting patiently at the moment. Uh, so good afternoon, Facebook. It's Wednesday. It's 12 p.m. Eastern. It's 5 p.m. in the UK. And I've got it right. Wow. And this is Bots for Broadcasters with RJ and myself. Did you have a good, uh, shall we say, break over Christmas and New Year? Yeah, it was a, it was a really nice break. Uh, I got to do I got to do things that I don't normally get to do. I got to take a break, and we were just talking about you know the doing the the live stream shows is so positive and gets you gets you so much you know visibility and you meet people that you would never meet. But taking a break from all of that really allows you to reflect on what's working. What do you want to what do you want to start in the next year? It really improves yep. your show when you take some time uh, off of the microphone. Really improves your show. That's it, that's what I have to say about that. Well, you come at it fresh, yeah, because you're not – yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. You get a fresh perspective, and you do sort of other things. I mean, I've been watching – I'd never heard of Lucifer. Um, so I've been binge watching three series of Lucifer over Christmas. <laughs> it's a great way to chill. Fun way to chill and not doing any broadcasting at all. And that's broadcasting on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch or Periscope. Yeah. None at all. I've uh, been away from the camera. Um, so it feels good to be back. And the two of us together and broadcasting about messenger bots. And um, if anybody does want to join us on camera, then you can type guest to actually join us. Um, so with that said, uh, we have a guest with us today, so he's been waiting patiently. So we'll bring up from the lobby Andrew and say hello. And uh, hello, Andrew. Yeah, am I there now? Am I, um, You're live. I'm live. Oh well, well happy New Year from uh, me in Bangkok, and I always say I'm coming to you with an attitude of gratitude. That's I'm originally from yeah. Australia, originally from Australia, but I've lived here for 10 years now. Um, and yeah, I like it a lot. I'm glad to be on your show and learn a little bit about uh, your bot. It may be different to the one I've got. I've got the many chat. Um, and as I said, I think if I had two going at once, they conflict with each other. Um, so I've cut it down a bit. I've got I've got another one called a land bot, and that's one of those ones that sort of proliferates down the side of the page. You know, most of my bots are on on web pages. You know, the uh -huh. it pops up in the corner. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well we, I think we, we can agree with you about many chat. Uh, both RJ and I use that, although we tend to concentrate. Well, I'll just tell you in a moment, but we, I tend to concentrate on Facebook Messenger uh, because we, you were talking earlier about uh, broadcasting and having an audience. Well, it takes work, but one of the ways that you can do it is whilst you're actually live and talking to people is to get them to subscribe to your Facebook Messenger. And you need great content. So you've got to broadcast about something that people want to hear about. But once you've done that and people get engaged, then you can invite them to join your uh, subscribe to your Messenger. And then when you go live, as I did today, you can actually send out a broadcast, uh, which people will see. 
and uh, hopefully we'll join your show. Over to you, RJ. Uh, yes. What would you like me to say? Um, what, what we, <laughs> about you want me to talk about many chat or? Yeah, if we if we talk about many chat and building an audience. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I I mean it's the simplest one to use. Uh, it's the simplest one to figure out. Uh, and it, it gives you a lot of power within Facebook Messenger. So, uh, so for me, you know, I continually, uh, continually review other bots um, and uh, continually, you know, many chat. It, it's not without its uh, little quirks, but it uh, definitely is my, my, my choice and the one that I send people to. Me too. Me too. Uh, both for the live video hub and for um, be live in five. Both have got many chat bots, and the new page, which we'll talk about later. Um, my, I've got an idea for 2019. You've got to have an idea, and it might work. It might not. Uh, we'll mention it briefly now. Uh, it's called the live video squad. Yes, I saw that. Ah. I yes. saw that in our our graphic that you made for us today. What is uh, what is this all about, well, my friend? I, okay, I actually did eight show graphics because of the eight shows that are on each week uh, with yourself and everybody in our inner circle. And I subtly put that graphic in the top left hand corner of all of the show cards um, because I wanted to sort of subliminally suggest that the live video squad was something that's happening in 2019. Oh, right. And um, yeah, basically, I, I'm just, it's one of those things where I'm sort of crowdsourcing the idea. Mm -hmm. I've got a basic idea. I know what I'd, I'd like to happen. But in order to make that happen, I have to, people have to know about a live video squad. So, uh, because it's essentially a Facebook group based uh, situation. Mm -hmm. And it's, the, it's three things. One is the ability for, um, trainers to uh, market their wares so you can sell within the group. And the other side is participants and viewers can actually join the group and chat to the people providing the services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can actually then create live video experiences from there. And the live video squad is a squad of people who know what they're doing, talking to people who want to find out how to do it. Mm -hmm. So rather than marketing on your own, I mean, we, we market uh, bots for broadcasters. It's just you and I. Yeah? yeah. What I'm saying is, is if we could do that within a group for people who want to uh, learn, yeah, then that might be an approach. So I'm just flying a kite. Yes. And, you know, uh, rent up the flagpole, see if, the, you know, see if it flies. And, yeah. So that's the live video squad. Uh, so I'd love to talk about that later. Yeah, sounds yeah. fun. Right, Andrew, at the moment when you broadcast, how do you actually tell people about your show? Well, I create live events through the group, you know, and then um, uh, hopefully I have had a couple of nibbles, but, uh, yeah, I, I mostly I've had a few uh, really interesting guest posts where I've invited people on uh, mm -hmm. and... That went really well. So I'm thinking of continuing with a few guest posts. Uh, I've got a couple of groups. One's, you see, I'm an ex-farrier blacksmith. I used to be a blacksmith. So mm -hmm. people were joining my blacksmiths group, but I wanted them to really join my my builder all group. So anyway, I call myself a digital blacksmith these days because I, I don't do any uh, – I'm actually – you know, I'm pretty relaxed in – you can see I'm in my condo here. I, I, it's a pity uh, be live hasn't got some way of bringing up a green screen. You know, I mean, uh, all you get is my fridge there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's how I do it. Apparently, I might have to get a screen behind me. But I'm, I'm forging ahead. That's uh, using a black term there. Forging ahead in uh, 2019 and um, – um, I haven't. I still really enjoy um, B Live TV. Um, so yeah, that's what. Right. That's okay. What Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. What is Builder All? Oh, okay. Now you've asked me the 
Well, well, it's a platform um, which contains all sorts of marketing tools, an autoresponder. It's got all oh, thousands of uh, templates for websites. Um, it was originally put together by uh, Eric Soldago um, around 2008 in um, Brazil. And he, that was about the time when Google was getting going. And yep. he wanted something to kind of benefit people. And it's like a, it's only come to the USA market uh, about last year. And um, it's really incredible. I, I've done a few live broadcasts showing, uh, you see, you can share your screen, and um, I've shared the um, the tools and how you can, you know, just uh, and and the beauty of it is, oh, I forgot to get down to that guy. It only costs fifty bucks a month, and it's a contains a business where you can sell licenses to other people, and um, yeah, that's the way it works. But anyway. Um, it's like nothing I've ever been involved in before. You know, I've been in affiliate marketing and all that sort of thing, struggling and hoping that something's going to happen. But this is really like a community. And I've got, I mean, I mean I'm friends on Facebook with, uh, with Eric, you know, and he's, yeah. it, it's a very level platform. You know, there's no, no, uh, the, the level of contact is superb, you know, and, um, yeah, it's, I just enjoy it. I really do, and I'm actually possibly be going to become working for the company soon. I've got my fingers crossed because if there's a thing, they're going to be um, having live support agents in the field, and well, uh, I think I've got a good chance. I mean, I've got an incredible workspace here in Bangkok. I've got a couple of iMacs. I've got fiber optic connection and. Um, I don't actually do any other work. This is it. I'm okay. sitting in my condo all day. and uh, So, yeah, that's builder yeah, so, so It's a, a beautiful part of the world, uh, Andrew. Right, well, thank you for telling us all about builder -all. If you'd like to put a link in the comments to this show, then people can go and take a look at it. Um, and uh, I'll be back in the group and uh, see if we can actually get something going in the group. And thanks for joining us today. So I'm going to, put you, going to put you down in the lobby and uh, hang around if you wish as we continue with the show. Nice to meet All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So thank you, Andrew. Uh, now then, uh, I can see. I'm just trying to get rid of this, really. Just a minute. We'll catch up. Uh, Lynn has joined us. So, Lynn has joined us. Now we're having a party right now. Indeed. Lynn Cobain uh, is here. And Corinda's here too. Now, Corinda's got a question. He's saying, is it me or is Facebook look clearer now? Have you noticed anything? I haven't noticed anything. Uh, uh -huh. No, I haven't well, noticed anything over the last few days. Mm -mm. No, I mean, send, send our, our first day back. I mean, you've got to give us a chance, Corinda. We, you know, I mean, you were broadcasting at Christmas, Corinda. So, you know, I mean, you've been broadcasting probably when all over the Christmas holidays. Uh, uh, okay, and Lynn's saying yes, party girl. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so it's interesting that uh, Andrew uses uh, ManyChat. Uh, I think it's the, the one that we, are you going with it for 2019? You're sticking with ManyChat? You're not going oh. to? Uh, yeah, I ain't going anywhere else. Yeah. I mean, I haven't, uh, when I when I explore platforms and stuff, uh, I haven't found anything that is nearly, you know, it has got nearly the features. Now, there's there's always some stuff. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for a competitor. I haven't found any yet. I, I totally agree. Uh, I mean, the, the, the beauty of ManyChat is, first of all, it's free. And you can have four guest tools. You can have it linked to your web page. You can do broadcasts, and it doesn't cost you a red cent. A cent. It's only when you want to go beyond that that you actually start paying. And when you do start paying, you're only paying ten dollars a month, yeah. which even where I come from is a couple of coffees. But, you know, so in terms of cost, it's probably as we said from the beginning of starting this show, it's probably the best ten dollars a month you can actually invest. Um, in your marketing now we talked before the show 
and said Happy New Year to each other and discussed uh, plans for this year. And I came up with a wacky idea, which is sort of me, really. Um, I just want to come to it. That what was going to happen in the shows that we do this year, I think we've agreed on this, and all, <laughs> all the shows that go out on Be Live that I'm involved in, is that every show will have at least three takeaways. Uh, mm -hmm. So ideas that you can run with after you've watched the show. Or improvements that you can make just things that you can actually take action on at the end of the show so i have brought two of my problems to the show in relation to uh, running many chat bots and uh, i'm going to put them to rj and uh, well we'll see what happens now i like a lot of people use keywords so that an example of a keyword is people typing guest and actually getting the link to join us on here an example of a keyword is typing ask and being able to ask us questions privately. Or uh, it could be info, which will send out show reminders. But that sometimes you actually pick keywords that people use in everyday conversation. Mm -hmm. And I just that could well be a problem because today I was having a discussion with uh, Jay Lane and every so often she was typing away the bot triggered because she typed one of the keywords that I set up, which means that the discussion becomes very disjointed and it, it's annoying from my part of it, from my side of view, point of view. But from Jay's point of view, she was very understanding, I think is probably the phrase to say, because she typed something in it said, uh, could I have your first question, please? Um, and she typed something else in it said, could I have your second question? But she was actually talking to me, mm -hmm. not right. OK, so. RJ, what is mm -hmm. the best practice as far as keywords are concerned? Well, <clears throat> so first off, if you can, uh, with those super common words, add a second word. Um, so right now, uh, what you've got, uh, let me let me ask you this about your problem, because I don't really because uh, I don't know this in the keywords. Do you have you can pick whether you have the message is exactly this? or the message contains this. Do you have your ask set to message is or message contains? Is. Okay. okay. And she was typing ask in the middle of a sentence or did she just type in that word or? Uh, in the middle of a sentence. In the middle of a sentence, okay. Yeah. So I would switch that to ask Stephen. Okay. Uh, I would I would switch that to ask Stephen because and I would make it a message is ask Stephen because um, that is going to be a lot less common. Uh, you've you you have to stay away from stuff that's that's super common or you do you do get some repeated keyword stuff and that will mess up a conversation. Now when that messes up a conversation, uh, I you know what I always say is oh hey uh, so sorry about that my chat bot got a little too chatty right there um, and mm -hmm. you know I kind of move on from there. But uh, but I do try to make it if it's a super common word put another word with it or just don't use super common words. Right, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to go back and check the bots that I have set up, or the keywords that I have set up, and I'm going to follow your advice on that. Because it, it, what we've been saying all along is that we should be starting conversations with people, and bots yes. are great for that, and we continue the conversation. What we don't want <laughs> is the bot to continue the conversation too. Um, so I'm going to revisit that. So our first takeaway this week is to actually check your keywords and amend them uh, by adding a second word, and uh, that will make things a lot easier uh, when you're actually talking to somebody because you don't want the bot interrupting you. And uh, it doesn't, it's not professional, is it? He said. Yeah, it, well, it's okay. just, you know, you can always kind of laugh it off and say, you know, something like my bot, my chat got, bot got too chatty. But yeah, you want to avoid it when you can. I, it, it, it only went from bad to worse because I typed in a keyword as well. Mm. Uh, okay, right. <laughs> so that's that's the that's the thing. Uh, be careful in your choice of keywords uh, because they can come back to uh, cause problems when you're actually having a real conversation. All right. Now, uh, my next point is, and I, I'm open to best advice on this, 
My mm. problem is this. I have two pages, Be Live in Five, which is where we're broadcasting to now. And if you're not on the Be Live in Five page, could you press the link up above so you are on the Be Live in Five page? Um, I've got the Be Live in Five page and I've got the Live Video Hub. Mm -hmm. Now, the Be Live in Five page has 170 subscribers, the Live Video Hub has 220. So today, as an experiment, and it's only an experiment, I promise the people who are on both lists, I sent out a broadcast to 390 people. The only thing is it won't be 390 people because some people are on both lists. Mm -hmm. How should we handle that? Do you want to widen that a little bit? Is this the time of the year to actually uh, broadcast to everybody and say, do you want to be uh, notified of Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays or Fridays show? Or do you want to be notified about shows at all? In other words, is this a time of year to be cleaning house bot wise? Well, for me, it's always time to be cleaning house uh, in your bot. Uh, when I am sending out broadcast messages, if, uh, you know, I can set it to, if this person hasn't answered in a while, trigger a question, or, you know, or either trigger a question or trigger a statement that says, hey, um, if you, if you, you know, you don't want to be in this, but are you, if you don't want me to talk to you any longer through messenger, just type stop and, and you'll be unsubscribed. I mean, I, I think it's always time. So, so the answer to your question, the second question, uh, yeah. is yes, uh, is, is go ahead because you, you know, people are, uh, we're, we're taught to, uh, we're taught to look at our subscriber numbers and judge how well we're doing by the number of subscribers we have. Um, and I would like to, uh, I would like to say that that is, that is a really tough way to look at bots. Um, what um, you want is connection and conversation. If you're having a connection and conversation with 10 people, you're doing great. Can, can I add what do you got? to look at the numbers is a silly way to do it. I know. I know. We're also trained, it, but it is silly because, um, if you know, gosh, it just doesn't. It doesn't matter how many. It matters the conversations. It matters the people you're talking to. It matters if you can get that person that you're talking to from a uh, um, automated conversation to a live conversation to a phone call. Yeah. That's what matters, my friends. Um, so uh, cleaning out your bot on a regular basis, super great idea doing it, doing it at New Year's. Great, great idea. Um, I, I try to do it more regularly than that because the, the worst thing that could happen is somebody says, ah, this bot's bothering me too much. I don't mm -hmm. want that to happen. I don't want to get reported to Facebook as having a spammy oh, no. bot. No, 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 no. no. No, you don't want ever that. You don't want that to happen ever. What you want to build is a good reputation because the, the messenger bot is part of your reputation. It is. It's in in my case is my whole reputation, right? I mean, it's 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 a lot of it is uh you know how well that that converses and uh, grabs people. So so yeah, no, it's, it's a it's a great time. It's it's up. like somebody who's a YouTube uh, guru and using the word he is a guru being banned by YouTube from broadcasting. Right, right, right. You don't, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. No names, no pack draw. Um, yeah, so you've got to be, you know, you've got a reputation to guard. And that led me to a message I read earlier today from uh, Jenny, mm -hmm. where she actually sent out a broadcast and got quite a, an amazing response. She did. Well, her P Jenny. Uh, okay. So coach Jenny is a life coach that teaches you how to get out of your own way. Um, and uh, she has uh, created a cartoon character named Hilda and she's got a whole, she's got a whole program about Hilda. So that's a little tiny bit of background on Jenny, but yeah, she posted in my group today that she posed, she, you know, started a conversation with some people uh, she just sent a broadcast and got in, like, did she say 21 conversations? 21 conversations started, which is quite incredible. So you know, I mean, that's the goal, my friends. Those are the goals. It's not about it's it's not about how many subscribers you have sitting there dead on a list. It's about how many conversations you're having. And conversation is key and brings us to the show on Friday with Brigetti and I, which is Brigetti and Stephen in discussion, which is all about conversation. We say hello to Brigetti. 
Hello. Hello, Stephen. And hello, RJ. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Can't complain. Well, Happy New Year. This thank is the first time we've had a chance to say it live. So. Oh wow! Oh yes, this is this is true. This is true. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just picking up the tail end of your conversation there, and you're so right, RJ. It's all about the conversation. Everything else um, is a side issue. You know, yeah. you can have you can have all the bells and whistles, but if there's no conversation happening, it actually means nothing. Nothing. You're right. You're so right. Yeah, the um, because it's when the connection starts, that's when you can figure out if, if this is is this a person you, your business wants to have a relationship with, uh, and you know, so many people kind of point toward well, how many transactions can I possibly make? This it's the it's a tough focus to have because sometimes mm -hmm. a lot. Sometimes a little. The internet is a fickle place. <laughs> we I know think. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't we know only too well. You yes. know, uh, nothing, nothing stays the same. And what's interesting and attention grabbing today can change in a heartbeat. Um, so you know, if you invest or over invest in a particular thing. Um, that investment can very well be lost tomorrow because, as you said, it's a fickle place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by Absolutely. the way, I can see your sign very clearly now. I was um, The other day when we were on a live stream, you know, you've got bots are beautiful at the back. Yeah. And I, can, I, I know my eyesight's not great. I need new glasses. And I was struggling <laughs> to read it, but I, I looked at it now, and the first thing I could see was like, ah, bots are beautiful. It really stands out. <laughs> Beautiful. I forgot to turn my signs on today. Uh, I'll have to. It's it, it's coming back, everybody. It's all everything's coming back. It's, what you, is the, you know, it's, sorry. You you've got an interesting point there. You know, I was. I mean, I've been literally not live streaming for about a month, and when I started, now you know, I was kind of fumbling over myself and trying to. It's it's amazing how quickly you and learn things you know it's 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 a matter of just four weeks and i found myself feeling lost and you mm -hmm. know having to kind of reorientate myself again was crazy but it's great to be back it really is oh it's great it, to have you back it is it is um unfortunately they've not changed anything at all since we last broadcast two weeks ago so uh, it, we can get back into the, into the swing of things quite quickly. Um, all's good. Awesome. So now, as there are three of us here, we can actually talk about five days live. Ah. Ah, because it's getting very close now. Because next Monday, uh, five days live starts, which is five days of free online training from RJ Brigetti and myself, and this time eight of our friends. So there are 11 people involved in total, I think, or 10, 10 or 11 people. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to being live at 10 a.m. Eastern. That's 3 p.m. in the UK, uh, Monday through Friday next week, discussing a variety of topics. We've changed it. We did it in August and we did it in October. So this is our third season of Five Days Live. We're all looking forward to it. And it is a, an opportunity not only for us to actually talk about something that we love doing, but to actually exchange our expertise with you and take your questions. You can come on camera. There's always a spare seat and uh, talk about topics which matter to all live broadcasters. What we should be doing in 2019 is providing great quality, engaging people and building an ongoing audience. And uh, that's what it's all about. And I think the timing is absolutely um, perfect because, you know, this week people are still on vacation. Um, but from next week, businesses open up again. It's business as usual. And I think it's also a great opportunity for people who uh, are new to live streaming to literally take the opportunity to dive in with both feet from the beginning of the year because, you know, you're going to set the tone for the rest of the year. So if you're watching this, um, broadcast now and you've not live streamed or you want to up your game 
you've maybe just done it on a casual basis before and now you want to start a regular show come and join us every day next week because we're going to cover just about every single aspect um, of live streaming every single one of us that are taking part in the five days live have been where you currently are now we also started at zero we had to build an audience we had to learn how to get comfortable um, on camera um, you know we've never used things like bots so everyone had to start somewhere and because it's a very it's the second week in January the start or the start of the business week it's a great time for you to come and join us and if not for yourself please do share out this broadcast um, and tell other people about it because there's someone out there who wants to to learn to improve and and guess what you're not going to believe this but all of us who are presenting we continue to learn from each other every single time we do this we learn something new from each other it's a continuous process so you can never get to the point where you say i know everything about live streaming it's a it's like a revolving door you learn more and more every single time you go live <clears throat> We do, and uh, we also enjoy the interaction uh, that takes place as well. And uh, we've loved the fact that we've had, well, a lot of people actually join the broadcast, and we'll start promoting it tomorrow, and we'll start promoting it with the uh, show cards. And as you can see on this week's, on next week's show, uh, RJ, Cheryl, Brigetti, uh, and from Ireland, we have Lottie, and then from Canada, we have Annie, and then from uh, California, San Diego, we've got Linda, myself, and new to the show this time around are Tina and Angeline, and uh, of course, the old guy from Canada. Well, he's not old, really, not to me, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> David Burris is joining us too. I must, so, I must uh, add, you know, Angeline's from Hawaii. And um, and we're exactly 12 hours apart. And the two of us live stream together quite often. And it's quite hilarious that we're exactly 12 hours away. And if we look at the chart of the people that's that's um, on the, the stream this time on Five Days Live, we literally present, represent um, almost every corner of the globe. <laughs> and, and that's amazing. Well, that's, that's true because I also, I mean, Angeline is professional. Um, well, she is actually going to be waking up at quarter past four mm. in the morning to join the broadcast at five o'clock her time in Hawaii. So that's dedication and looking forward to the show, uh, which yourself and Angeline are part of. And uh, RJ and I are with you on uh, Friday. And all the rest of the cast will be involved Monday through Wednesday. So uh, we're quite looking forward to five days live, which as we say, starts on Monday the 7th and runs through to the 11th. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Absolutely. And RJ is nodding. Yeah. You're looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, gonna be a great time. It always is. Yeah, there's always something new. That's what I like. Well, there's new, to there's, there's new topics this time around. Now, I've got an idea, uh, Brigetti, which I'm, I've explained to RJ. I'm just going to run it past you as well, just to see what you think about it. And that's in the shows. I mean, until this year, we've done shows which are generally do have a purpose. They've got a theme, they've got a topic. But what I think we could do this year is in each show have three, three things that people can take away with them, three ideas that they can put into practice after the show. And that's irrespective of the topic of the show. I like that. I like that very much because it's constructive. Um, and to have people go with three takeaways, it's not a long list. Um, three is very, very specific and actionable. I love that idea. See, these, these Christmas and New Year breaks do allow you to sit back and come up with ideas and, and brainstorm and everything so uh, yeah so that and i just want to say thank you to to you brigetti uh because live video squad facebook page 
now looks a thousand percent better because of the graphic you provided for the banner. So thank you. Welcome, pleasure. I, I haven't told anybody what it is yet because we're <laughs> still working on it. <laughs> um, it's a secret. Well, RJ knows <laughs> some of it. I think it's it's one of the, it's one of those ideas that's that's going to grow and uh, be refined over the next month or so. And uh, if you are watching live now, then the Live Video Squad Facebook page needs a hug, or to be more precise, it needs either a hug or a like. And if you go to this link, you'll find the Live Video Hub page, sorry, the Live Video Squad page, and you can actually uh, like that page if you would. Thank you. Yes, please go out and like the page so we can we can grow it. Indeed, indeed. Um, right, okay. So now, Arjay, has anything happened with ManyChat in the last couple of weeks that we should be know about? Well, there's something that uh, that I think everybody needs to know about, but uh, I don't take action on it yet. Um, you <laughs> can now. Uh, as of yesterday, I saw this. Uh, you can now create Facebook ads from within ManyChat. Wow. Yes. Now, grab all of your horses. Okay. Hold them. <laughs> yes. Don't let them go. Um, because uh, it has the green beta tag on it, everybody. And we know what that means. And if there's anything that you don't want to screw up in this entire world, it is your ad. <laughs> ads account so um i am uh i am getting i have i a, a, a friend of mine who does facebook ads professionally for people teaches lots of people facebook ads uh i'm going to ask her to do some experiments with me to make sure that everything is well and then i'm going to have her on my show so uh ah. so that is a new development I'm watching that with interest because one of the things about Facebook ads is, of course, that um, when you get into your ads account, at least, okay, I'll speak about me. When I get into my ads account, that thing is like, I don't know. I mean, like, it's like taking your the SATs or something. It is insane. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm a computer geek, and I hate that interface. It makes me want to throw up a little bit. Um, so uh, so being able to do it, if, we, if in fact this works, um, being able to do it from within ManyChat and then have your bot connected automatically. See, up to now, we've had to, we've had to create uh, you know, the, the Facebook messenger growth tool entrance, uh, through, through a message ad. And then we, then it gives us a piece of code and then we got to go and take that piece of code and plug it into the dashboard, uh, in that specific ad in, in Facebook ads manager. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Um, you know, dumping the, finding the code in the first place, putting it in the right place, testing everything to get it to work. It's a, it's a multi-step experience. If in fact they have shortened that path, uh, then I think that it could be a very good thing for people who are running ads to uh, Facebook Messenger bots. Um, so I'm watching it with interest, but I'm, I'm gonna test it first and tell you all if it's okay. That's very, very kind of you to do all it that is. groundwork and... <laughs> And do the testing because, you know, thing is, I mean, you know your stuff inside out. You're the bot ninja. And um, if you break something, you can fix it. But yeah. I think the rest of us mere mortals, uh, if we break something, we may just break it completely. And I don't think anybody wants to do or, that. Or even worse, we may be put off using it. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing about the beta tag. People get really excited about using the new stuff, and so do I. I mean, I'm I'm just as guilty of it as anybody else. But, uh, but you you want to use it when it's ripe. You want to use it when the when the thing is is working well, and uh, and I want to make sure that it is. I'm not knowledgeable enough about Facebook ads to be able to look at what it produces on the Facebook ad side and say, yep, we're good to go. Uh, so that's the part I, I'm going to be getting some help with, but absolutely. I'm going to test this thing because I want people to be excited and love 
many chat and love messenger and love all of that stuff. So I, I know what you're saying. Don't, uh, I, you know, uh, I don't want, I don't want to have people try it and get frustrated and go, this doesn't work. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, there's some reasoning behind it. I'm really excited about that. What that could bring though. Well, that's, that's a, an opportunity to actually sell proactively, isn't it? Yo, absolutely. Um, you know, because we know that messenger is the best way to have a conversation. And if you can turn that, to yeah lots of opportunities lots of opportunities to be still being good there being a good bot rather than a bad bot um yes so we not only do we need mechanics of how to use it but we need the best practice of how to use it RJ. Well, and my dream is this, that um, being able to, you know, make a little video or something and uh, use the, the video as the ad, bring people in, uh, bring people into the bot that get reminders for the show. A great way to grow the bot, great way to grow your show. Um, that's that's an excellent avenue if that can if that can work uh using using a little video uh of course and and uh and draw drawing drawing people in to the show so i'm excited about it and we're that sounds so amazing <laughs> yeah i think it's, it's going to make a difference Brigetti, because uh we all at this stage in 2019 we'd like to make some money out of Facebook rather than actually paying for ads, we'd actually like to pay for ads and actually make money from those ads. So if this is a way of doing that, then more power to it has yeah. to be said. Yeah. Um, now, talking of ads, uh, we have one advert which you'll find in all our shows throughout 2019. RJ and I, as Udemy instructors, have our course, Bots for Broadcasters, uh, which is on Udemy, and I'm going to paste in the comments now so you can take a look at it after the show, is a link to the course on Udemy, which is all about uh, bots for broadcasters. And, I mean, we had great fun doing it because we managed to – we used Twitch. We used Be Live TV and Twitch to actually create a large percentage of the course as RJ and I were chatting about things that we enjoy talking about, and that became part of the course. I mean, it was quite a – an enjoyable time. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a wonderful time putting it together. What what you would get out of this course is we talk about all of the different uh we, we talk about and we give templates for and we give step by step instructions for all of the different bots that we use to enhance our shows, to give people extra information about our shows and also to get people to the shows through the reminders. So that's what is featured in our course is all of the different bots that we talk about uh, on a regular basis. Stephen, we talk about reminder bots. We talk about the ass bot. We talk about the show bot. We talk about that stuff all the time. If you're interested in learning more about that, obviously uh, follow the link and, and go to that course. It is uh, it contains all the templates. It contains everything that you would need. Uh, to to get started on on using bots to enhance your live stream, and we've taken nothing for granted. Uh, is we know that there's need to actually have a beginner's course. This is it assumes no knowledge whatsoever, and takes you through practical steps where you can actually learn how to uh, build bots for your broadcast and increase your audience and engage your audience. So it's a very simple, straightforward course. And uh, we've got some wonderful five-star reviews, which we're allowed to talk about because we, we uh, well, I mean, the thing is that when people pay for a course and give you a five-star review, then you've got to be doing something right. So to everybody who's taking the course, we'd like to say thank you. To everybody who wants to take the course, the coupon I've just posted is a discount coupon. You can actually uh, press the link and you can get our course for less than $10. So, and are we playing a second course, Audrey? I know you. Oh, of in course. I mean, of of aren't we always? I mean, <laughs> our world domination plan. All the I clearly uh, we haven't, you know, we haven't discussed what it's going to be yet. But there will be more courses, I think. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So that's something to look forward to. Let this, this is not. This is the first course. There will be more courses as the years uh, go by, and we're releasing certainly the second one this year. And uh, we'd like you to follow us on our journey. Um, we've tried since we started this show to actually 
to explain what bots are about, and that's what we do in the course, but we actually show you how to build them. You can either build them using the written instructions we give you, or you can actually simply copy a template. And Lynn is saying, giving us the all clear to have world domination. So thank you, Lynn. All right, okay, now I want to take that graphic down and I just want to get your reaction. I'm going to bring a graphic up on the screen. Uh, as you know, uh, I am producing a show for Linda West, uh, which is a talk a, talk a Tuesday show. i uh, try to get my tongue around that. Uh, and we start the show for real next week. Uh, but uh, Linda and I also do another show on Thursdays, which is called Just Do It. Now, as Brigetti knows, you, well, you both know, I've been producing share cards for everybody this week. So this is the one that I've actually put together for Just Do It. And I'm going to bring it full screen and just like your initial reactions to this graphic. Hang on, wow. has it gone full screen? <laughs> okay, right, okay. RDA Silence says it all. That's good. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove the graphic now. <laughs> well, it's interesting. It's yes, yeah, okay. Okay. Just, uh, you know, you jump, will, jump in and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. So we'll see what, what happens tomorrow when we release it into the wild. It may well go through one or two changes in the coming weeks. Um. Right. Okay. Now then, uh, moving on. Um. I'm just, I've, you know, I said I've got an agenda, RJ, mm -hmm. for a change, and we've actually run through the whole agenda. And you said, well, if you run out of things to talk about. Mm, right. You know, yes. We've reached that stage. Oh, okay. We've reached that stage. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> well, let's review a little bit. Um, well, well, we've, we've kind of, we've talked a little bit about keywords in the show, how to, uh, how to use those so that you are not triggering a response to come in a normal conversation. Uh, and that is to use keyword, either use keywords that are not super common, uh, or add a word to that keyword. So Stephen has had an ask bot for a long time, was having a conversation with someone uh, and the ask bot kept triggering while he was having a conversation because the person, you know, didn't, didn't know that there was that, that ask keyword. So uh, the best way to uh, combat that is either to use a word that doesn't come up in conversation a whole lot. Uh, you know, like, you know, even the word strawberry, it's a common word. Everybody knows how to spell it, but yeah. it's not going to come up in most of your conversations. Um, but you can also add a couple of word, a word or two, like instead of using ask, you can, you can do ask Steven. Right. Uh, Make it more, un more unique. Uh, in other words, a little bit, a little bit. If you're having trouble with those keywords firing in mom moments that you don't need them to fire, consider making it a little bit more unique. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I can, I, I have had problems like that myself in the past, and what I've done about them is exactly that. Just make it more unique. Um, so there was that. We talked about using bots on several pages. I don't think that we came to a conclusion with that one, though. Um, so, uh, we kind of talked about, you know, if you have more than one, uh, if you have more than one Facebook page, if, if you have more than one bot, how, you know, what is, what, what could be the rules, you know, so you're not over broadcasting to people. Steven today broadcasted uh, the same show announcement to both Be Live in 5 and Live Video Hub. Some people got the message twice and Steven is running an experiment. So, uh, you know, see how see how many people unsubscribe for that or or talk about it or or in any other way respond. Um, I would say, a, you know, if you're running mini chat on more than one page, you're advanced, uh, and uh, and that's all good stuff. And for me, I probably would not do that. I would probably pick one of those pages yeah. and make that the one that I broadcast from. And if you're not in the one that I want to broadcast from, I would say, hey, from now on, 
all of the broadcasts are going to come from this this bot over here. Hit the click the button to subscribe, and you'll you'll get your announcements as usual. I wouldn't do two bots because the, the same announcement in two bots because then um, uh, it's hard to keep track of for me. Um, and then there's always that possibility that people will feel spammed. My my takeaway is that after the show, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a message in my video hub which says that all the broadcasts are going to be notified by the be live in five bot if you want to move over there do that now and then yeah. i can just provide the link yeah, and that sort of clears that out yeah um yeah and you're saying about housekeeping we should we should look at who's actually subscribed to us and how do we tell people we could actually sort of remove from the list should we well, remove people well, I mean, the best way is to broadcast a simple question. Hey, what's the biggest takeaway you've gotten out of this bot so far? Um, yeah, Lynn, when you've got them for different topics, that's a different deal. Then you're obviously not doing the same broadcast to all three. Steven's situation is he's got a whole bunch of pages that kind of that serve a lot of the same purpose. If you've got separate pages that have separate topics, then uh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. There's a difference. You, you wouldn't mm. run into that problem probably, but, um, but yeah, what were we talking about before I saw that? <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about, we, we were talking about broadcasting to two or more many chat bots or using two or more. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was using yeah. about using multiple bots. Yeah. Yeah, multiple bots. Um. Yeah. So so, I d I like to do as much as much as I possibly can one bot. Um. For for one main bot for everything because otherwise, getting spread thin. Um. It, getting thread spread thin is is a caution. I think sometimes. Like keep keep it one bot at a time. <laughs> One bot at a time. That's hang on a minute. Oh, we've got to put it on 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 <laughs> got to have that on the screen. One bot at a time. Okay. So advice. I think we can all get behind that. One bot at a time. Okay. All right. So don't send broadcast out on two bots at the same time, send the same message to the same people unless you're experimenting. And Lynn is saying that's good advice. Okay. <sighs> right. Okay. Well, for a first show, back RJ. This has been mm -hmm. quite good. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Getting back into the swing of things. As we say, it's five days live next week, which runs at 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Myself, RJ, and Brigetti will be there with several of our friends and talking about everything to do with live broadcasting. And there's bound to be something in there which will interest you. If you're subscribed to the Be Live in Five bot, you'll get a message about it. If you're subscribed to the Live Video Hub bot, this weekend you'll be asked to switch over to the Be Live in Five bot. How's that? Is that? Yep. Yeah. So that's my that's my takeaway from today's show, really. Well, absolutely. Uh, and of course, it's up to you. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I would definitely go go to one and make make each page. Uh, I tell people this all the time. Make each of your pages has to have a purpose. Uh, each of your bots has to have a purpose. It has to have a unique value proposition that you are bringing someone. Um, if all of the bots have the same value proposition, then then that's when you you run into doubling uh, and and stuff like that. So uh, so yeah, that's uh, always a good thing to think about, uh, no matter what time of year it is. Spring clean all year round is what you're saying. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like good advice to me. Brilliant. <sighs> right, we have a tradition. Uh, I'm still going to try and, and finish the show five minutes early so that everybody can get to the next show. Um, I'm going to try and encourage people to do that. It probably won't work, but it's worth a try. So, RJ, would you like to close today? Sure. Um, Brigetti, thank you for joining us. Brigetti, thank, thank you, you for having and me. I'll just have to you. 
Uh, well, uh, lots of new stuff going on with bots. Uh, watch this space. We come on every Wednesday and we talk about using Facebook Messenger uh, specifically for broadcasters and how to use those to, to grow your show, to enhance your show, uh, to make your show stand out among the rest of the shows because there are an awful lot of people broadcasting these days. Uh, so stay tuned for more good information on how to enhance your stuff. Check out the class if you'd like to. Use that coupon because it does take 90% of the price away. And uh, with that, just super glad to be here. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me again, Stephen. It's always a pleasure because we always come up with some good ideas to take away and uh, Brigetti, thank you for joining us and bringing us today's phrase of the week, which is one bot at a time. And that's not displaying on screen. I've broken. No, I haven't broken. Be live. You can't do that these days. So to everybody, take care. We'll see you all again next week. Brigetti and I will see Bye. you on Friday. Bye.